Hey, I'm home. Ah, at last. Well, I guess I better do a review anyway. I mean, Endgame needs done. And I'm pretty late to that party already. Should probably go on with it. Hello everybody, I'm Movie Man. Saving you from terrible movies one film at a time. And let me take you back. Back to 2008. A little known Marvel movie known as Iron Man had just hit the cinema. And with it, it's tantalising after credit scene. Which showed the prospect and the possibility of an Avengers movie. Flash forward to 2012 and we get the reveal of Thanos. And with it, the promise of the Infinity Gauntlet storyline transformed from comic book to theatrical splendor. Although, one of my friends thought old Thanos was Galactus. <laughs> oh, but me and Quotation Lad knew better. And we knew this was only the beginning. We all waited 10 years for this. And now it feels so long ago that it seems like a myth. The myth of the MCU's beginning. The end is here for our heroes. Whilst they demean Back to the Future in the process. Those diabolical bastards. On it. Avengers, time to work for a living. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, he's the boss. Hey, he's the sidekick, not me. Guys, stop. We gotta talk this through. Hey! It's a good talk. Shouldn't you be reviewing something? Shouldn't you be doing a quote video or something? Touche, young sir, but I have other matters to attend to. See you later, bro. And for gosh sake, watch your language. Bye. Yes. Stupid Iron Man. What's he know? That's the end game. Tell me what to do. I'll do what I want. I'm not the same kid. He's the same kid, damn it. <sighs> they better not be coming in here. I'm reviewing something, damn it. Who could that be? What the hell, man? Oh, so that was today. Huh. Okay, whoever you are, I want some answers. Where am I? Oh man, I've always wanted to do this, but... Welcome to the world of tomorrow. Or in short, Welcome to the future. How? No idea. It could be a new superpower. I guess. So you're okay to do the review, right? Wait, what? Great! That means I can take the day off and binge watch Twin Peaks or Titans. Hey, wait. I want to do that. Well, it sucks to be you. <laughs> Well, I see in the future I'm just as lazy as ever. Good. <laughs> oh, wait. Damn him! I mean, me. I mean, wait. Ugh, these timelines are so confusing. <sighs> this movie is filled to the brim with callbacks to the previous entries of the MCU which serve as a brilliant look back at how far we've come with these characters. It shows its heart, something that is more important than the amazing spectacle it puts on. It sets out to tell a story about failure and how you make a comeback from that. It drapes itself in other genres such as science fiction and action, which works to the comic book inspired universe these movies take place in. Avengers Endgame is a celebration and a farewell to the years of success Marvel has had so far. It is very good at this. 
giving its many characters and stars their due, and giving us fans a lot to cheer for. It made me nearly lose my mind many a time, and I nearly shed a tear at them too, that being the scene with all the portals. As for the other scene, you guys will know which one that is. And yet, a month later, in the same cinema, I wept like a kid with a skinned knee at Toy Story 4. <sighs> Go figure. Marvel has been a big part of my life. Ever since I was a kid, reading the comics, up until now, watching the movies as an adult. It has been an honour and a privilege to bear witness to this in my lifetime. And I look forward to the day that I will be able to share the MCU with my kids, just as my grandmother did for me with the comics. I have to say, it was amazing to see this after waiting for so long. The wait from 2018 to 2019 was a killer. We all wanted to know what would happen after Infinity War's ending. But it's all over. And now, with the whole COVID-19 outbreaks, we are all wondering what will happen next. As the wait for the next Marvel storyline will probably be longer than the wait for Endgame. So I'll finish with this. It's a glorious conclusion to this era of the MCU. And most importantly, it packs everything you need for over 10 years of universe building. So if you've seen Infinity War, then see this too, as they are inextricably linked together. So, how did I get here? Do you know? Kind of. It's all still a bit of a blur to me. And it happened some time ago from my perspective. But I'll try to explain as best I can. So... Should I get the chalkboard? Or... Oh, hardy har. You know how you can make shields and whatnot out of red energy? Well, that's because your body absorbs energy from the third dimension. As for the time travel stuff... That's due to your body absorbing energy from the fourth dimension also. What are you thinking? I think this, all of this, you traveling to the future, is due to me and Quotation Lad messing around with the infinity gauntlets. <sighs> There's two of them? Correct. And using them both must have overstimulated your powers in the past. <sighs> I wonder if it's changed anything else. What happened? It's as I feared. What do we do? Nothing. But return you to your own time. Luckily, I can use this to power you up to go back. <sighs> okay, boss. But answer me this. When does the lockdown end? I mean, like, seriously, it's been weeks. Oh, would you look at the time. It's, um, sending you back home. O'clock. Man, didn't have the heart to tell him. He's got a lot of lockdown to look forward to. Yeah. Oh well. At least he's got Sarah though. <laughs> you know what I wonder? Has anything else been changed in the timeline? Hmm. And I better keep looking just to be sure. Uh, wait, what the? God damn it, bro! They got my dick message!
dance off, bro. Me and you. Oh, no.